excited about this morning's Consumer Confidential because this one could literally put money in your pocket. There may be unclaimed money out there with your name on it. So here to walk us through how to find it. You picked a good day to show up, Alan. Yeah, I love this one. Uh, NBC Senior Consumer Investigative Correspondent Vicki Wynn. Good morning. Vicky, good morning. Good, morning. good morning. So when you say unclaimed money, like what exactly do you mean? Okay, simply put, Craig, unclaimed money is money that is due to you. It's owed to you, but somehow it never made its way to you, and now it's being held by the government. Think about the deposits that you put down, right, for your cable box, your utilities. Yeah. Yep. Maybe yes. the bank owes you a statement Escrow. or some money. Exactly. Oh. So somehow that check got lost in the mail, or it was sent to the wrong address, or maybe you moved, and now that money is just sitting there waiting for you. The New York State Controller told us, actually, if you have parents or grandparents who may no longer be with us, that money could be due to you as well. So it's really important for you to look. A lot of times this is 50 to to $100 that we're talking about, but it can be in the thousands wow. of dollars. Wow. And our producer, Phoebe, who's 30, right, she did a search for herself, found nothing. Did a search for her older relatives and found all kinds of money. Over 20 instances of unclaimed money for her mother, dating back to 1991. Wow. Her grandpa, mm. dating back to the 80s. And her uncle, who had a bunch of small businesses. So especially if you started working in the time before direct deposit became right. so common, there could be checks that were uncashed and now the government's hanging on to that money for you. So where do we start looking and, and how do you avoid getting ripped off? Yes, so important. So the first thing I want you to do, get that pen and paper out and write down this site, usa.gov slash unclaimed dash money. It's right there. That's the website you want to go to. It is legitimate. It is a federal website. Always look to avoid scams out. You want to make sure that you're looking for websites that end in a .gov. Mm -hmm. There are some legitimate .com addresses that are on this site, but only start here to look for your money. And then make sure that you know you're never supposed to pay a fee. This is your money. Right. You shouldn't have to pay money to get back your money. That's how you avoid those bogus websites. I think the first thing that comes to my mind is, okay, now that I've found this money, how can I get this money into my hand? Right. Right? Wallet? Right. Do you know what I mean? It's like getting from point A to point B, walk me through. And it's very easy. So after you go here and check all the different various websites and resources they have for you, go to your state controller's website or your state treasurer's website. You can do an internet search with your state and the words controller or treasury department. And then you're going to run an online search. Usually you just need your name and the addresses where you've lived. The other thing to do is if you've moved around a lot, make sure you check the states where you used to live as well. And then finally, they're on that USA.gov site, they're going to direct you to a place called unclaimed.org. That's another place that they've compiled a number of resources. Okay. Because here's the thing, it's not just checks and money. Sometimes it's a safe deposit box. These are tangible goods that are unclaimed property that could belong to you as well. I mean, besides checking their state offices, some other sources that we can look into because now I'm I'm really excited I know. About, about the prospect of there being money out there for me. Here's the thing. Banks, retailers, insurance companies, they're all required to turn this money over to the government if you don't claim it. Back wages is another area. Your employer, maybe you had some freelance jobs or you moved after, mm -hmm. you know, finishing your last assignment and you didn't collect that final paycheck. Mm -hmm. Go to dol.gov slash wow. Workers owed wages. Wow. Like that is wow. a great place. You're going to enter your employer's name and your name and if if there's anything due to you, it'll pop up. My hairstylist this morning actually just got a check for $200 from a job that he had forgotten that he did, and it was through the New York State Controller's Office. Wow. I love this. Now, also, veterans. Veterans have all kinds of different health insurance, so veterans should go to the Department of Veterans Affairs. You'll need your name, and that's it, to check for any kind of refund that is due to you. You might have a Federal Housing Association mortgage that was uh, insured by FHA. Mm -hmm. The Department of Housing and Urban Development might owe you a refund on that interest. You will need your case number and your property address, but that's where you can look that up. And then finally, we talk about tax refunds. Yes. You think, how could anybody lose track of that? But sometimes people don't have direct deposit and a check is mailed to them and it gets mm -hmm. lost. So go to irs.gov slash refunds, but you will have to enter your social security number. So I want to make sure you're on that irs.gov website to avoid any scams. You'll need either your social or your tax identification number, but that's how you can get that money. Quickly, Vic, you looked yeah, at this. So what did you find? This is the best part. And if you find money, please hit me on Twitter or Instagram. I want to hear about it. Ali, Miss oh. Ali Love, we found one account for you. Really? You're not going to be a millionaire. You can't quit your day job. But if you and I went to lunch, you could probably pay for our lunch. So oh, that's how much okay. money we found for you. Me. There's money out there for you. I want Craig, that bag. Four instances of money for you, including over a hundred bucks in South Carolina from your time living Look there. At that. Yes. Mr. Al Roker, drum roll, please. Oh, Eleven accounts, my friend, with whoa. money for you.
Yeah. Oh, I'll love wait, it. Yes. Wait, he needs it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't. I need it. You need it. If it's this mine, I'm money. getting it. You my money. It. Eleven it. accounts. Vicky's the new. Oh, yeah, right eleven different accounts. Money. I know. I, I wish. This. Cars next. Cars next. Oh, oh my God, God. that's so Vicky Win is the best, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. Your money. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.